all right here i am at the mulberry street railroad crossing in galesburg illinois now this railroad crossing right here is a neat little yet iconic railroad crossing here in this town of galesburg that most of y'all rail fans may know about all owned by the bnsf mendota subdivision or as well as well it's pretty much like the end or the beginning of the mendota sub because right here past the amtrak station which is right next to this crossing is the ottawa subdivision and um yeah and this crossing right here it's a rather busy one obviously because down there is the yard and a bunch of other stuff such as the uh galesburg branch and the peoria which i think is that way i think that's how you pronounce it as well as amongst a few others and yeah and obviously this is like a historical style of town because you can see a bunch of railroad related uh, art on the buildings and like old railroad related things and CB and Q 3006 on display right here as well as the BN caboose and a bunch of other things but yeah that's pretty much like the quick scan of the scenery right here now going back to the railroad crossing itself owned by the BNSF Mendota um, this crossing right here I figured was pretty neat and I thought it was a neat little place and I figured it also had featured some pretty neat equipment per se so yeah, I guess with all that said, I'll explain as I go on. I only got this crossing in action twice, and both of them were distant videos, so I'm not sure if, if all this information is going to be accurate, but I'm going to try anyway, so even though that sounds pathetic, but yeah, I guess with all that said, I'll explain as I go on, so let's get to it. So for the first signal, this has a safe tran cantilever, and here's the emergency information and the dot number, and the dot number is 062982V, or 062982V, but yeah. And that's the cantilever for you. And for the gate mechanism, this has an Invenci's rail gate mechanism sitting on a Western Coal and Hayes base with the mast. And as you can see, as you can see, the gate arms feature this little triangle mount, which I believe was one of the adapters for a wishbone gate. Yep, it is an adapter for a wishbone gate, so you can bolt one up on here if you want to. BNSF uses a lot of these, especially around this area. But yeah, and the gate features some Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard on this mast, as you can see. And for the mass lights on this one, this has two pairs of Hawker and uh, Safetran 12 by 20 inch light heads with Electrotech LEDs in them, as you can see. Well, these are either RSI or Electrotech. I think these are Electrotech. And these are both sitting on WRS light brackets. Well, that one is. Nope, the front pair are sitting on a Safetran light bracket, as you can see. The front pair is on the cantilever itself, separated from the other pair. While this pair is on the gate mass, sitting on a WRS light bracket. And as well on this mass right here, you have a Safetran 12 inch incandescent no left turn light, as you can see. I wanted to get this crossing in action with the with me facing this light, but I'm probably gonna go back here eventually. It's a really neat place, as I mentioned earlier. So there's your no left turn light facing towards this road. It has a little orange stop sign, that's cool. But yeah, and for the overhead lights, this has two more pairs of Hawker and Safetran 12 by 20 inch light heads with with some pairs have dialyte LEDs in them, while some more pairs have some Electrotech LEDs in them. See, there's a dialyte LEDs. I believe that's the only dialyte LED, while the front pair both have Electrotech LEDs. Yep, there they are. And these are also sitting on a Satran light bracket. Yep, right up there. And for a bell on this one, which is on the gate mask, this has a General Signals Type 1 electronic bell set on default pitch. Yeah, and it's quite cool to still see a GS Type 1, especially on a BNSF line like this. And this one is relatively healthy too, still ringing strong. But yeah, that right there was the first signal. Pretty neat stuff, I had to say. So yeah, I guess that's how let's go ahead and cross the road and tour the second signal. And you can see how odd this road is. There's dividers here, there. And you can see the crossing boards are the concrete ones. And before I continue, yes, this crossing is a quiet zone, as you can see. Here's a no train horn sign and as well as the watch for second train sign. So I guess that marks that this uh, line is busy. Oh, I just saw a signal flip to green right there. So we might be seeing another train shortly. So yeah, that right there was the first signal as I said. Now I'm just gonna cross over to the next. So it looks like that train that I saw earlier just cleared. So I'm gonna go ahead and tour this other signal and get this train hopefully shortly after. So yeah. I guess all that said, here is the second signal, which is not similar to the first. So here's the second signal, which is a mass signal. This one has a safe tram base. And here's the emergency information once again. Sorry, it's really windy over here. 
And for the gate mechanism, I believe this has another Invenci's Rail gate mechanism. I believe this is an Invenci's Rail, even though the badge is gone, but I believe this crossing does have two of these Invenci's Rail gate mechs. But yeah, and the gate lights are more Rico LED gate lights, as you see, and a wind guard on the mast again. And for the lights on this one, this has two pairs of Satran 12 by 24 inch light heads with dial light LEDs and an Electrotech LED in this one. I believe the front pair are Electrotech, yep. Yep, just like this other side, one is Electrotech and one is dial light, so this has one pair of dial light and one pair of Electrotech LEDs. And these are all sitting on a Satran light bracket with this weird bracket thing below. And for a bell on this one, this has a General Signals Type 2 electronic bell set on medium volume. So, yeah, pretty neat stuff to see a crossing on BNSF with the GS1 and GS2 bell combo, that's cool. But yeah, that right there was the equipment to show for Mulberry Street in Galesburg, right in the middle of town. Here's the relay case, sitting at milepost 162.32. And yeah, I guess all that said, let's go to take a look at the track view. So down there is heading northeast towards a couple of signal towers and some crossover tracks at CPB plant. I think that's the control point name. I could be wrong, but, but yeah, and this divides off into another subdivision. I forgot what that one, I think that's the Peoria sub down there, but you can see uh, the green signal that I just saw flip. Yeah. And you can see that this cuts all the way back here and I believe it's coming on this track too, which is cool. But yeah, and down there is heading southwest towards, right towards the Galesburg Yard, as well as a bunch of dividing tracks that take you to different lines, such as the Galesburg Terminal is one of them, as far as I researched. But yeah, I guess with all that said, this was the Mulberry Street Railroad Crossing here in Galesburg, Illinois. Really neat crossing, even though I do have to leave shortly because I want to find another crossing around the Mendota Sub Tour that, and yeah, go from there. But I guess with all that said for now, over and out.